Hey guys, this is Sims and Wins, and we are finally, after so many months, finally back with another episode of our Sims 2 Build the City Challenge. So my previous es my previous episode was old footage that I had prepared before leaving, that I had hoped to upload at some point before leaving, that I never got around to. Um, but I'm finally back from New York. Uh, I think it's been like almost a year since I've uploaded. I... First of all, to my defense, in my defense, uh, where I am right now is the basement. It's kind of, it's not really a basement, it's like a sub-basement. And we are using a wood burner this year because we live in the Balkans and wood is cheap because of Russia and the petrol is expensive because of Russia. So, you know, we're, we're bur burning wood this year, but the wood burner is upstairs. So that means all winter down here was freezing. So I was working down here in the freezing with my sweaters and things like that, um, teaching online. And, but that was like during the day where it would be a little, a little warmer. Whereas at night when I have time to play, cause like it's been a long day, it's 11 o'clock at night. I just put my kids to sleep. Um, it's been kind of hard to sit down here at like night in the cold, um, even dressed up. So I've, I just kind of like stopped playing video games. Um, I also had like, I was like, I was doing a bunch of things, trying to switch careers. Didn't really happen. I never got an interview anywhere. <laughs> uh, I just don't think I have, I, I don't have, the problem is I don't have the experience in what I was trying to get into. And I didn't also really have like, I didn't have like a degree. I just did like an online course and it's not that serious. So, um, that's a long story. Um, and I was feeling a little depressed. Like we had money issues. Um, so that's the reason why we went to New York in the summer to work. Um, so we made some money in New York, we got back and now we're hoping to kind of invest what we made in, in my husband's farm. He has an 11 acre apple orchard orchard. How do you say that in English? I don't know, but now we're going to make another one to, we're going to invest money to plant a second one. That'll be about five extra acres. So it'll be like another extra half of our income yearly when that matures. So that's what's going on with me. Um, and I just loaded my game for the first time in many, many months. And I noticed cause when I was editing the last video, I noticed where I left off. So I went down my list in my book there and the Picasso family is next. So we are playing the Picasso family and I jumped in and the first thing I noticed is for some reason, him and Wendy, who I don't remember, but I presume the reason why I moved her in here is that that's his girlfriend from college, right? Cause they just graduated college. And for some reason, um, she got caught cheating with Hunter. Now, I don't really know what Hunter is to her. Who is this? She's just Wendy. So she cheated with Hunter. I don't know who Hunter even is. I don't, I don't remember why I did this. I have to go look back at that the the last college episode. Actually, I should do that now. Okay, so I went and watched that episode footage when I did the university household. I think that was like episode eighty six, like five. I was just watching it on YouTube. I'm not minimizing the screen again, but um, there's no indication as to when she got caught. I had moved Anthony out. I remember because I watched the episode. I had meticulously moved all the men out, left the women with Hunter. And then he would doof the woman, she would move out, graduate. He would doof the next one, she would move out and graduate. So no one who was doofing him was in the house with another person who was also doofing him. So none of the females got jealous of each other. And Anthony had moved out when I had her doof him. So I have no idea, honestly. I don't know if someone remembers. I highly doubt you guys remember either. I don't know how he has such a bad relationship with her. Like, I... I there's no way this was intentional because I, I mean, it was intentional for her to cheat. I don't think it was intentional for her to have gotten caught. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn off shadows. Boo, prop. Oh, I forgot to cheat. What was it? Boo, prop. Sim shadows off. 
Yes. Okay. Um, if I had moved, to, I moved her in with him after college. So I intend for them to get married and start a family, right? I don't know what I was thinking nine months ago, but likely I wanted her to have a good relationship with him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have moved her in with him. So I'm just a little bit confused as to how that happened. Also, as I was rummaging through the episodes, I noticed that <laughs> I've forgotten we have to get to the witch when we play the witch because we have a mayor, Grayson, and we have a three-child policy. So we need to make sure that people are having three children, okay? Um, I'm still yawning all the time, by the way. That hasn't changed. Um, this house, what was this house? I think I built this house a long time ago. Very long time ago. Many people have lived in this house. Uh, so the parents are going to die probably this same week. Um, oh, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, it's Sunday. I must have left this family early because when I popped in, it was still Sunday. It was a Monday morning. So I must have left this family early. I still have a whole sim week to play with this family. Um, so uh, just very quickly, if you're still watching uh, this series, thank you for still watching this series. There's like a couple of you, um, like 10 of you who are like actually like watch this. <laughs> and it's so weird because like I just, I mostly just do this for me, like I, I'm motivated to maintain the neighborhood and actually play it because I know that there's like 10 people who actually watched this whole series. And thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. I just realized that my last clip was not recorded. Um, my mic was not on, I guess. Um, so let me repeat what just happened here. Um, it's the next day. I made the Picassos a new house and moved them in and the parents just died and I had it on camera but my mic was off but Jessica and Matthew Picasso are now dead okay I moved their graves to the cemetery and now these lovebirds are alone in the house I'll have him propose to her I did fix their relationship what I also said in the recording is that I realized that after looking back on the episode where she doofed Hunter Oakstead he was already moved out, um, like completely out of the college household. So I do think that there was a glitch. Like, I think maybe it's possible that the game still registered that he was in the house somehow, even though he was moved out, and had him catch her cheating, even though he never technically caught her cheating. And it like registered in their memories and in their relationship, but it never happened. They never, like she, she doofed Hunter when he was moved out. I'm sticking by that. I did not do this on purpose. I, I mean, I had her doof him on purpose, but I did not want her to get caught. So I did it in a way that I thought would not allow her to get caught, but apparently moved out Sims and from college households can get caught cheating. I don't know. I think it's a glitch. All right, so it is basically the end of the Sim Week. I decided I don't feel like doing much with them, so we are going to just get over all of this right now. Um, real quick, before we end the sim week, he's going to propose to her. He's just going to marry her. I'm not, I'm not doing any wedding parties. They don't really have family to invite anyway, besides her. Um, she's, I think her parents are dead, right? Are her parents dead? Oh, they're still alive, but that's okay. Um, it's fine. Okay, we're married now. She's pregnant also, just so you know. And um, she should probably go eat something before she sleeps because these pregnant ladies are always crazy in Sims 2. All right, so basically that's the end of their Sim Week. And I will see you in the next household probably tomorrow. All right, guys, so I just got done playing the Picasso family. And, well, not just got done. I got done playing it yesterday. And I'm just quickly updating you today. Um, I basically accidentally played two Sim Weeks of this family um, because I played a Sim Week. I updated you. And then that video ended up not having audio. I don't know what is wrong with my system settings. I keep setting it back to, I keep setting it to record from my headset and it keeps undoing itself. I don't know how it happens. I'm hoping that this video is being heard. But anyway, so I forgot about it. And then I came back to the family thinking I never played it. And I played another Sim Week. So I accidentally played two Sim Weeks with this family. Um, so the Picassos, the Picassos, uh, his parents are dead. 
Uh, Anthony's parents, Jessica and Matthew, are dead. He's married to Wendy Picasso, who is from one of the families that I put in the barracks long ago, Arnold and Louise Ramirez. And they have three, well, they're going to have three kids. Um, the first one is Lorraine, Lorraine Picasso. Um, she's an all right looking child, I suppose. Um, we'll see when she grows up. She, she, I think she's she's all right. Um, they have a son named, what did I name him? Harrison. Okay, I'm running out of names. Harrison is the son and she's pregnant with a third child. So we're keeping in line with the three baby um, rule with the new mayor until he dies because eventually he's going to die. Um, yeah, this is the house I built for them. I'm slowly furnishing it. I hate furnishing these days because my CC is so limited and I, oh, that needs cleaning. Um, I'm, I just really kind of just try to get through the families and do the challenge, the gameplay aspect. But yeah, so that's the Picasso family. And now I will take you to the um, Purdue family. All right, so this is the Purdue family. Uh, this is an EA house that I just added a section to to make it a little bigger because they were always broke. She is a painter, uh, Babs Purdue, and Ollie is a writer. And they have three kids. They have Ariel, Gabrielle, and Hayden is the young son. Um, Ariel is going to move to college soon, and um, she really wanted to have a first kiss, so I'm trying to get her to have a relationship with Oren Ponte, who is one of the adopted kids in the orphanage in the military district. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to work out. We shall see. Uh, she's going to be going to college. This one is still young. She's very pretty. Gabrielle is very pretty. Um, is there something else? No, I'm just going to play through a sim week and I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Okay, people, so I have played through a sim week uh, with the Purdue family. Um, nothing special, one of the kids went to college. Um, Ariel went to college, sent her off, just played through, I don't even think. I did get her to hook up with that kid I was trying to get her to hook up with. Uh, Gabrielle he here is into Ryan Kramer. Um, he, I was going to try to get him into Rosalie, but he's not into her, so that's it. Uh, this family was kind of boring, so uh, I will see you in the next family. All right, so I also just played a sim week with the Brown family. So the Brown family has always been a family that I hate playing because um, it was modeled off my best friend, whose last name is Brown. Uh, she's got two kids in real life, but I made her and her husband in my game because I was bored. And I had them have 10 kids. So these people, my friend, <laughs> uh, Walisa and Darion, okay, they're my besties. They had 10 children. And so far they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 grandchildren from one, two, three, four, five of their children. And the other five have yet, have yet to have children. So they're gonna have like 20 grandchildren ultimately. Um, yeah, it was, it's always been a crazy family. Uh, so one of the kids in the sim week just went to college and that would be, which kid just went to college? Um, hmm. it was her, Jasmine just went to college. So there's two kids left finally in this household it's Jessica and Jason so finally the amount of people have reduced because this family went through it like there was poverty like it was crazy if they I finally have them a semi-furnished house I'm saving some of their money because of the tuition that they pay uh, for these kids to go to college but um, yeah this family has always been very difficult I played a sim week the kid is in college my bestie is on her way out though they're at the end of their elderly years so likely the next time I play this family, they will kick the bucket. Um, so I think that is it with this family. Um, the girl went to college. So now we're going to be playing one of their, the next family we're playing is one of their kids. So the family we're jumping to now is her. We've got Jaylene. Oh, wait, no, I'm confused. Oh, no, no, no. It's the son. We're going to her, their son now, uh, Jaden. So they have, they only have two sons. The rest of them are girls. Um, so Jaden is married to Camille and they have one child, Rosalie. So that's who we'll be playing next. All right. And I just got done playing um, Camille's family. Uh, so Camille is married to Jaden, the son of Walisa Brown from the previous family. 
Um, Jaden and Camilla are very happy together living in this very lovely house that I built many years ago that many families have built in. Actually, this house is quite historical because the first Oaksteads lived in this house. Was it the Oaksteads? Yes. Like, um, this was the house that I think the Oakstead daughter, the very first Oakstead daughter left and married in. Um, so it's been in the neighborhood for quite a few generations. Many people have lived in it. Um, they have a daughter who turned into a teenager. This is Rosalie Brown, a very beautiful little child, not old enough for college. It was a very quiet playthrough. Nothing interesting. Um, Camilla and Jaden should be well into their elderly years. Um, that's basically it. So uh, now I think, let me see, the next family is the daughter, um, the very firstborn daughter of my best friend. So that means that we are going to Jaylene's family. Uh, she's married to um, Arn Kim from Arn... Who's Arn again? Oh, okay. So Arn is the... <laughs> I had to remind myself. So Cynthia and Robert Kim, they are the Simbin people. They had a son named Justin in originally, like by default, but he died. I don't remember how he died, actually, but he's dead, apparently. And I had them have a second kid named Arn, and he is the one who married Jaylene and had three kids. <sighs> I'm always yawning. Sorry. Okay, so now now we will go play them. All right, so I just stepped into the Kim family. They're in this house that I do not remember building that's relatively decent. I, I know I built it because um, it looks like something I've built, but I have no recollection of building it. It's a relatively decent house. Um, inside is a little bit hectic, though. Like, this house gives me stress. Um... It's very hectic to look at. Um, it's not really coherent. Inside is not one of my best interior decorating's interior designs. Um, anyway, so uh, let me introduce you. So this is um, the Simbin lady. Uh, this is Cynthia. Her son died. I don't know why her son died, but Arn is her second son with three kids. Um, Jaylene is just about to become an elder I don't know why she's so young like why was her husband because I know her husband died of old age but I don't know why she's so young like was she significantly older uh, younger than Robert I have no idea Arn is younger than Jaylene um, and he's just doing his job sorry I'm always yawning at this time of night now the kids this guy's a little older he's going to turn into a teenager soon and these two are twins um, let me think. Is there anything else? Did she make the pancakes yet? No. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play through. He's going to go into a teenager. Jaylene's going to turn into an elder. Wow. The second generation of my best friend's family is already an elder. Um, that's it. So, um, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. All right, so I'm coming to the end of the sim week with this family, and these kids, the last two kids, are about to turn into teenagers. Seth already became a teenager, and I decided to throw them a birthday party, and the only person who came, because Grandma didn't have a very high relationship with these people, I guess, um, is Nefeli, um, who is one of these kids from somewhere. Um, and I'm trying to get the older brother into her, um, so I just want to see, like, if I can get them together, and then I'll have the kids blow out their candles, but she's the only guest, and I would really like him to have someone. Um, he's cute, he's alright. Um, so yeah, I just want to see if they're compatible, if I should even bother first. Um, okay, after he's chatting, then we're, oh no, he's not attracted to her. Okay, maybe the other boy will be, hold on. Okay, let's have him blow out the candles. Let's have her blow out her candles. Let's see. No. All right. Um. Maybe the other teenager will be into her. He's not bad looking either. So he is officially a teenager now. So let's see if he will like her. Uh, we want his turn on. Uh, okay, we can leave thick as a turn on. All right, that's fine. Turn off as athletic. Okay. 
Um, all right. Uh, oh, I have my phone. Okay. Um, Siri, pick a number between one through six. The answer is four. Four. Ugh, no, not a romance sim. I hate romance sims so much. Okay, um, let's see if he will be into her. Oh, he is kind of into her. Not a lot, though. Um, but he does know her a lot, it seems. So maybe we can even get away with the first kiss? Maybe? Um, maybe. As soon as she's done growing up. Okay. Sloane is alright. She needs a makeover. But Sloane is alright. She seems to be into him. Uh, let's ask Siri again. Uh, for a random number. Okay. Siri, pick a number between 1 through 6. The answer is 6. 6. Okay, popularity. Oops, I just took a screenshot. Ugh, she likes unemployed. What is your problem, girl? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Um, so I'm just finishing up this episode. Just want to see if I can... Oh, oh she just deaded him. Can we, can we fix this? Is this fixable? Can we fix this? Can we make them into each other? No. Okay, you know what? I give up. Okay, everyone's a teenager now. Um, the sim week's basically over. I'm just going to play through one more day, then just leave the sim week. Um, so these people are grown. She's old. Jaylene is old. Arn is almost old. And the kids are all teenagers. He's slightly older, and the twins... Um, our twins and they just became teenagers today so um i think that is the end of this episode next time we will be playing you know what i've been realizing lately and i'm not sure what i'm doing that's making that sound i thought it was the wire i don't know if you noticed my videos there's always like a a knocking sound and i thought it was my my wire being hit but i'm realizing just now it might be I'm going to have to check in the video um, if it made the sound. But it might be like my earrings clacking against the headphones. It also might be because I feel like every time I talk or move, my jaw makes a sound and it's making a sound. So I don't know if you hear that noise. I, I can't like edit it out. and it's It's been irritating me when I edit my videos, but I, I don't know how to get rid of it because I think it's it's – some creaking in the headphone. It's creaking. I can hear it creak, and I think it comes across on the mic. Um, anyway, so the next time we'll be playing some funner families. Um, I hate this specific family. So I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care, and bye-bye. Never mind. Uh, I'll, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot that I wanted to donate a lot of money um, because they – have really good jobs with really good chance cards that give all sorts of crazy bonuses. So I would really like to donate. I'm sorry if I sound out of breath. I actually ordered pizza and um, I overate. And when I overeat, I feel like I can't breathe after. <laughs> um, so that's just me being like super, how much are these, 15? 15 grand, that's it. Uh, okay, we need to find something. Is there something easier that I can do this with? How much is this? Six. Okay. Six. Is there something? Okay, we have one that's five, so we're going to do it like that. All right, so I'm just going to donate about 100 grand um, to the town. Um, I would just like to do it on camera so that you guys believe that... <laughs> All the money comes from, you know, it's it's legit money. Um, I think that should be it. What is that? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Times three is 24 times five. Oh, no. 24 times five. Oh, no. Math, math, math on camera. I'm doing math times ca on camera. 24 times five is 120. So that's 120 grand. Um going to the town it's going to be put into her inventory never to come out until her death thankfully in sims 2 things in elders inventories disappear okay all right so that's that so now i hope you have a great day or night whatever it is in your part of the world take care and bye bye